to the channel today we are doing a second try of our snowmobile motorcycle as you can see we've got the expansion chamber on there uh, I had a lot of comments I mean a lot of comments about uh, putting it back on and so here we have it this was the only way I could put it on there it looks like a monstrosity but it uh, does the trick let's take a closer look Okay, so for those of you who did not see the first episode of this bike, basically what we got is an Arctic Cat uh, snowmobile engine, and we threw it on this motorcycle frame that I kind of put together a little while ago. It's a 440cc two-stroke, two-cylinder engine. Basically, my mistake last episode was I omitted the expansion chamber because I had nowhere to put it, really. Got, some people got angry at me for it, and therefore I put it back on the bike. I also got this uh, garden stake thing and kind of bent it and then, you know, put a little bit of a, a curve to it so that it will kind of hug the expansion chamber. Today we're going to find out whether or not it really does make that big of a difference. Okay, and then if we come to the other side, you'll notice that the oil reservoir for the oil injector is gone. I took that out. You guys kind of suggested that as well, just in case it's not working. And we're running 40 to 1, probably a little bit less than that, as in like maybe 35 to one just to try it out just to see where we're at so if we look in there that's where the oil pump was basically i just made a little flange for it plugged it in there put some gasket maker on there and then i also plugged up these tubes going to each cylinder as well just suddenly lost power but it has to do with that uh, that oil pump delete or it's just overheating could be just overheating I'm gonna walk it a little bit and then uh, try to start it in a little from my probably two mile walk. It's hard to say whether it might have been overheating and uh, somewhere on there there's a switch that turns it off. The reason I don't think it's that is because my first test ride in a few weeks ago, I rode it a lot longer than I did now and it didn't turn off. The second thing is the only thing that I really changed was taking out that oil uh, pump. So I think 
that has to do with it I think I might have to put it back on and maybe just cap the uh, the inputs or whatever if you have any advice or if you know what the issue is please let me know so we can get this thing back at tip-top shape expansion chamber is definitely a game changer like some of you said this thing has just a lot more power a lot more get up and go it's honestly scary to ride <laughs> Well guys, that's gonna be it for the snowmobile motorcycle. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this crazy machine. Also, let me know what you think that little problem was that we had. Basically, we were driving, we lost throttle, and then it idled for a little bit, and then it died. And I'm thinking it's either the oil pump or it might have overheated. The strange thing is I was just riding it for another 20 minutes or so and nothing happened. So it could have been just an anomaly, you never know. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.